Hey YouTube, it's Active Asshole on Roids here with another glorious rant. That's Active Asshole on Roids, kryptonite for conservatives. I'm off my roids, off my rock room, on the warpath, here we go. Alright, rant alert, spontaneous rant alert. Uh, I, I, got, I got to thinking about conservative women, uh, that is, Tea Party women, far-right women, women like Phyllis Shackley, who's still kicking, and the later, the later uh, right-wing harpies that were inspired by her, by her such as Michelle Malkin, um, Ann Coulter, and and then I started thinking, you know, I, I mean, we all, we all, you know, we all think to ourselves that, you know, we all understand that most conservative women are just there are just there to be token women. That is to say, we understand that the only reason that those that those women ever became successful is because they 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 they, they pretty much did what the conservative male patriarchal religious wackos wanted them to do. They support a system that is ultimately harmful to women. They support uh, laws that 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 you know roll back or hinder women's rights in this country and in other countries and you know but but, but there's just you know I'd like to talk about another another breed of conservative women that in recent years we've become all too familiar with I'm talking about the Michelle Mount sorry the Michelle Bachmans and the Sarah Palins of the world Far right Tea Party or Tea Party women, who who have ties to right wing militia groups, you know, who 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 just has so happen who just so happen to be married to hardcore right wing militia husbands, who themselves are in a position in which they are not able. To run for office themselves, either because they themselves are too mired in scandal or have some kind of criminal history, or are part of groups that are so radical that they're not <laughs> that they that they can't run themselves, and one has to wonder, one one has to wonder whether whether people like Sarah Palin or Michelle Bachman would have ever even gone. Into the into 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 public office. I know I know Michelle. I know the uh, Sarah Palin is no longer in office, and uh, Mich and Michelle Bachman will soon be out. Keeping my fingers crossed on that one. Over ethics uh, ethics violations, but but it's, it's just I, if it weren't for their if it weren't for their husbands being unable to do it. I don't think we would have ever seen these 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 pigs with lipstick anywhere near public office. I'm just, what I'm saying, what I'm trying to say is that most of these Tea Party women are nothing more and nothing less than employees by their husbands. You know, they're just doing this because their husbands can't. <laughs> Now that doesn't excuse what they 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 do because what they're doing in a way is far more harmful to women's rights to the cause of women's rights and 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 gender equality in this country than what any right wing male could possibly do. But but I'm gonna I'm gonna reiterate. Uh, I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna clarify right now. Uh, I'm, I'm just going to put it out there what I think what I think about the whole the whole idea that there's any such thing as a conservative feminist. I don't think there's any such thing as a conservative feminist. Conservatism and feminism are diametrically opposed to one another. Feminism is is an ideology. Well, is a philosophy. Why do I why do I say ideology? That that pushes for equality between the genders uh, in theory of course and conservatism is a philosophy based on the idea of uh, of patriarchy 
based on the idea that 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 you have to adhere to traditional to to traditional uh, uh, just just black and white objectivist moral you know moral moral ideas that for the most part well for, that that for all they're almost entirely based on on either religion or on worshiping at the at the altar of Frederick Hayek in terms of economics you know it's 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 this the, the two just don't go together they don't and Sarah Palin and Michelle Bachman would never and I repeat never have been in office had it not been for their husbands not being able to run without without having fear of losing themselves or or being hindered in some way during the campaign season because of too much baggage that's the only reason they ever went into office they're they're tools they're tools they I mean Sarah Palin is a member of the John Birch Society her husband was a member or still is a member of the Alaska Independence Party that called for secession of Alaska from the Union and Michelle Bachman's husband is a is a, some is one of those crazy militia tax protesters tax protest lawyers so so the Bircherisms and crazed reactionary anti-state state ideology Michelle Bachman and Sarah Palin themselves they don't really I don't really think they really understand uh, any anything involving government or philosophy or I don't really think they understand the lib the very right-wing libertarian-esque philosophy that they espouse but I think their husbands certainly do and I personally believe that 99 well not necessarily that high but but the, a good majority of the women who self-describe who are self-described conservatives only call themselves conservatives because their husband wants them to you know because their husband tells them how to vote and they just do it they do what their husbands tell them to these are not women who chose to do something or chose to identify as something or chose to believe in something or prescribed any creed because it was their choice it, they chose it because they're their tools they're, they chose it because they don't have minds of their own they're drones and this is the reason why I hold liberal women up on a much higher pedestal I, I consider them real women because they think for themselves they're not self-defeating self-hating you know just they're 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 not another suit for their for a man you know they're just they're not some extension of their husband's will you know how ch how how a, how a parent will try to live through its child will try to live its life through its child if, if it's if its own if he his or her own life was was uh, unfulfilling or if they think they didn't accomplish enough in their life you know some of these parents some parents actually try to live their lives to their kids you know try, trying to trying to make their kids you know overachievers because they themselves were a bunch of underachieving losers well that's what I think I think most conservative women are just extensions of their husbands or boyfriends or fathers if they're still living in there you know still living with their their husband well sorry with their father if they're part of the patriarchy movement you know the quiverful movement patriarchy movement and all that and I personally don't think these women know what know know what to believe I think they so heavily prescribe to the idea that that they need a strong man in their life that I don't even think they would be I don't even think they'd be able to cope if you rip that if you rip that 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 sense of security out from underneath them I mean 
the, most of these women are religious fundamentalists too. These are women who need a security blanket from one, their religion, which is usually fundamentalist, Protestant, evangelical, born-again theology, uh, and two, from their husband or father. These women don't make up their minds on their own. They let someone else do the thinking for them. And I think the term walking uterus describes them aptly. And I, I know that's probably that's probably sounding sexist coming from me. But I don't, you know, I, I personally, I, I mean, if you look at a lot of these conservative women, most of them who are married, of course, all they ever do is squeeze out shitloads of kids who are almost as low IQ as they are. I mean, I think that's what the I think that's the long term goal of conservatives in general. If you if you take into account the mission of the quiverful and the patriarchy movement, which are subgroups, uh, which are sub movements of the religious right and the militia movement, you know, I think it, it I think it really there really is a whole uh, we have to outbreed all the other groups in America. We have to we have to stay relevant by by spreading our legs and 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 squeezing out about eighteen units. Woo, we gotta use ourselves up and, 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 and die young from giving birth to too many children. Yeah, we're tools of our men. We're there for them, for their pleasure. We have no real purpose in the world. Hey, Ted. Hey, hey, hey Billy Bob. How's about another kid? How's about twins? And now we can raise them to be a bunch of good little conservative fucktards, just like us. Yay! Anti-intellectualism. Some junk on the screen there, but... But, again, conservative women... I don't even think those would be count those should be counted as women. You know, I just... I just think they're laughable. I don't even think you should even count those as people who who have any real self autonomy. You know, just just tools. I mean, if 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 the word tool could be used to describe anyone, it's your typical conservative rural white woman, especially in the South. Where they 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 do whatever the hell their man tells them. You know. uh, well, well, I I'm, I'm strong. I'm strong. Yeah, you're strong because you think your man will fucking help you. You're strong because you think your man is gonna jump in and save your ass. Yeah, it's easy to be strong when you don't have to take any of the risks. So again, I can't reiterate this enough. You know, conservatives, they can deride liberal women all they want to. Hey, the li liberal women, at least, you know, they make up their own minds about what they want to believe. They didn't have it forced on them from the time they were squeezed out into the world. They didn't have, have it rammed down their throats. They weren't raised, and their beliefs were not some accident of geography in 90% of cases. They weren't, theirs was not, theirs, their beliefs were not some, some byproduct of the culture they were born into. Their beliefs are something that they chose. And there's something truly commendable about that. There's something very, very commendable about liberal women because of that. They have minds. They're not empty. This is Active Asylum Roids. Peace out.